Good morning, friends. Welcome to pre-market update. Uh, yesterday, as we have seen, that Nifty has closed minus 60 points, whereas Sensex closed uh, minus 200 points. If you look at the FIDI data, in FI data index futures, FI have sold around 1280 crores and they have sold in cash market also around 760 crores. Uh, whereas uh, DI, if you see DI has, has bought in the cash segment of around 160 crores. Uh, yesterday the European markets was quite positive. If you look at the CAC, it was 0.9% higher, DAX was 1.3% uh, uh, higher, whereas FTSE was 1.1% higher. So European markets was quite positive yesterday. If you look at the US markets, US markets were also equally positive, whereas Dow and Nasdaq both were higher. On the back of uh, US, uh, FOMC has not raised interest rates, but they have indicated of uh, December rate hike. On the back of uh, better jobs data, which may propel better inflation, higher inflation. So they are indicating on the uh, December rate hike, which uh, which in a way didn't uh, rejoice emerging markets. Whereas in SGX Nifty, if you see. Uh, markets were uh, 30, th around 30 points down. So we may see a little bit of a lukewarm response in terms of Indian markets are concerned and may open a little bit downward. But overall if you see the US Fed has indicated of December rate hike. So if we get a December rate, high, rate hike then we may get a knee-jerk reaction in Indian equities for this year. So we may see uh, this markets being in range bound and being in a uh, particular range where, where Indian markets would be very much volatile as well as global markets. Good morning friends, I uh, will give analysis on derivatives. Uh, in yesterday's market taking negative cues from the international markets, our markets also open on a negative note and with a gap down of around 20-30 odd points and thereon we have seen a constant selling pressure in Nifty as uh, Nifty in the last couple of trading sessions have also been uh, facing a constant selling pressure and has been trading below our VWAP level and in yesterday's trading session it also uh, went below 8,200 level, uh, 8,200 which was the highest put base and yesterday's analysis also we have suggested that if 8,200 put option continues to see an ad and reduction in open interest we might see a further sell off and that what happened in yesterday's trading session uh, due to which we managed to close uh, one percentage lower at 8173.60 the mainly selling part was on the banking sector where banking sector have seen a significant amount of uh, selling in yesterday's trade uh, with the banking uh, bank, bank bank Nifty was down anywhere around two to three percent, uh, two two and a half odd percentage in yesterday's state due to which uh, Nifty have also seen a significant amount of selling. On the open interest terms, uh, three and a half odd percentage was reduced in open interest. That is around uh, nine lakh shares were reduced in open interest, indicating some kind of uh, long unwinding which was observed by market participants. After it uh, broke the uh, important support of 8,200, uh, market participants have been uh, squaring off the long positions in yesterday's state. Cost of carry did decrease from 25% to 10%. That is, Nifty premium did came down from around 11 12 odd points to currently just 3 to 4 odd points. While put call ratio have also uh, decreased by 4 basis point line with the market going down. We have seen a put call ratio uh, dip by around 4 basis point from 1.10 to 1.106 levels. While volatility index have uh, increased a bit by 2.5% uh, from 16.55 to 17.04 levels. Now the options activity uh, at 8200 uh, put option which was the uh, uh, which was the main highlight in yesterday's trade has seen a significant amount of reduction of 43 odd percentage and which was the highest put base uh, after seeing a reduction in 8200 put option we have seen nifty sliding significantly. While uh, followed by 8,100 uh, and 8,000 put option have also seen a minor reduction in open interest by 7 to 3 percentage respectively. Now the highest in terms of open 8,000 put option is the highest in terms of open interest and we are in the last day of the uh, expiry. While on the call option 8,200 continues to add significant amount of build up in open interest uh, of around 27 odd percentage while 8,100 call option I have seen a reduction of around 4 odd percentage. So, we can highlight for the last day of the series as we do see expiry, uh, uh, Nifty to expire anyway uh, uh, around 8100. And uh, if you give an uh, uh, and the, uh, and the one October series VWAP is at around 8140. So, currently uh, Nifty gave a closing at around 8173. So, below 8140 further selling pressure can be uh, expected Nifty as we will be uh, going below the uh, monthly VWAP. So, 
uh, in today's trading session, uh, 8140 levels would be quite crucial to watch out for. Uh, below 8140, we might see a further trigger uh, in uh, in selling in today's trade. There are no securities in bank period for today's trade. On uh, FIS uh, terms, uh, there were uh, an index which is there were net sellers by around uh, 1300 odd crores. And the open interest of FIS in index features went down by around 15 odd percentage, indicating some kind of long unwinding which was observed by FIS too. Uh, in index options, they were net buyers by 786 crores and stock futures net sellers by 1300 crores. Uh, there was a significant amount of selling which was seen in stock futures also, while stock options net sellers by 92 crores only. For so 5 days, we have uh, is at around uh, 8250 with a lower range at 8100 and higher range at 8250. Uh, apart from the 5 days VIP, our, uh, our main concentration would be on the monthly VIP which is at around 8140, 8150 levels. Uh, selling below and a sustain uh, below 8140 may see a further trigger in the market and can see an expiry anywhere around uh, 8100 uh, for the October series. But if you will highlight on the rollover activity, the uh, rollover of Nifty is quite high uh, for around 60-61% uh, uh, compared to 50% in the last series. And the rollover cost is at around 30 dot points, indicating and, and in last uh, two, two, uh, two to three series we have seen good amount of uh, uh, short position uh, uh, has been uh, good amount of short position is there in Nifty. So uh, uh, high rollover in Nifty do suggest uh, that uh, shorts are getting rolled over to the next series. While on Bank Nifty also uh, the rollover is quite high at around 53 odd percentage uh, compared to 49 percentage one day prior to the uh, uh, one day prior to the expiry in the last series. And that too also with a rollover cost of around 85 points where we have also seen a short rollover in bank nifty too. While the exist nifty is currently trading negative by 34 odd points yeah, and, and it's quoting at 8145 indicating some kind of uh, gap down to negative uh, uh, opening can be expected in today's trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Now let's look at today's trading ideas. The first idea of the day is PD line. At CMP 562 PD line, industries earnings have reported strong earnings. Consolidated pad at 192 crores versus uh, rupees 139 crores, up 38.1% on a YOY basis. Consolidated net sales at rupees 1313 crores versus rupees 1249 crores, up 5.1% on a YOY basis. The action to be taken is long PD line industry. Stop loss at 552. Target at 575, 585. The next stock is uh, Spark, uh, the Sun Farmers Research Arm. CNP at 391, FIPB approves FDA proposal of Spark worth Rs. 250 crores. Action to be taken long Spark, stop loss at 380, target at 405, 415. The third stock of the day is Tata Motors, CNP at 387. Uttarakhand offers subsidy benefit up to 15% of investment in capital. Ashok Leland and Tata Motors enhancing their production capacity in Pantnagar. Action to be taken is long Tata Motors stop loss at 380, target at 395, 400. The fourth stock of the day is Nomatis CMP is 905. US FDA warns Nomatis on manufacturing violation at two Indian pl Indian plants. The warning came after FDA official inspect inspected its uh, Turbul and Kalwa sites in Maharashtra in August 2014. Action to be taken is short Nomatis. Stop loss at 920, target 890, 870. Now we will look at the news updates. Wipro has won a uh, 5 year ID contract from Coop North Handle AS. Coop North, a leading retailer in Norway. The government is considering hiking foreign direct investment, that is FDI, in public sector banks, PSBs, from current 20% to 49%. CBI interrogates REI Agro CMD Sandeep Chunjunwala in Rs. 3800 crore bank fraud case. Go, Air, uh, Go Airlines kick starts IPO process, holds meeting with bankers, plans to raise 1000 crore, offering 25% stake. As we know that Indigo Airlines IPO is closing today. Hero Motor Corp launches Duet Scooter in uh, Southern Markets. FIPB approves 16 FDA proposals worth 4722 crores. FIPB okays FDA plan to stride Arcolabs, AB, Nuvo, Blue Star Info, HDFC Cap Advisors. It rejects proposal of Simpla and Apollo Hospitals. United Spirits eyes high end spirit to gain market share. Government also moves raising. Foreign investment cap to 49% from 26% for media. Maruti has received over 4600 bookings of its latest premium has been Baleno launched recently. A top company official said Max Healthcare acquires 51% stake in Saket Seki Hospital. Asian Queens International 
Mauritius subsidiary has transferred its majority stake in two entities to Singapore-based Berger International. DIPP releases draft rules to amend patent law 2003. Finance Minister asks Tourism Minister to expedite this investment process. Raising serious concerns over unfair business practices in reality sector, two members of the Competition Commission have ordered to be 666 crores filed on GP Associate but were, but were overruled by chairman and other members of regulatory body. Amtec Auto mandates Morgan Stanley for sale of German unit Tech 4 for cut to cut debts. JK, J. Kumar Infra closes QIP issue raises up to 410 crores. Sun Pharma is recalling over 10 lakh boxes of its anti-allergic loretardine drug from US market as the lot was found to be super potent and out of specification. The value of the recall is not known still. Now we'll look at the result up updates. Torrent, Farm, uh, Torrent Power Q2 uh, consolidated net profit was at 245 crores versus 23.7 crores. It was a multifold jump in terms of profits are concerned. Tata Power uh, Q2 consolidated total income at rupees 3106 crores versus 2701 crores on a YOY basis. MCX Q2 total income was 61.2 crores versus 54.8 crores on a YOY basis. MCX Q2 net profits were 31 crores versus 29.4 crores on a YOY basis marginal high. KEC International Q2 consolidated total income at 2020.9 crores versus rupees 2172.7 crores on a YOY basis. KEC International Q2 consolidated net profits at 44.1 crores versus 20.3 crores. JK Tires Q2 numbers were also doubt, whereas consolidated net profits were at 118 crores versus 76.5 crores and net sales was 1791 crores versus 1859 crores. Raymond's also total income was 1492.6 crores versus 1460.7 crores and net profits were at 9.5 crores versus 68.1 crores was a very uh, dismal set of numbers. Transport Corp uh, Q2 earnings was at 23.3 crores versus rupees 21.3 crores, 9.4 percent on a YOY basis higher. Net sales at 556 crores versus 557 crores on a YOY basis. Jet Airways Q2 numbers were also out and income was at 5258 crores versus 4772 crores on a YOY basis, whereas net profit was 87.6 crores versus 69.8 crores on a YOY basis. Now today's result which we are expecting and the bad estimates which we have is Grassin at 444.7 crores, first source at 15.6 crores, Torrent Pharma at 337.2 crore, crores, Bharat Forge at 208 crores, Crompton Trees at 47 crores, Imami at 105.5 crores, Bharat Electronic 165 crores, Thomas Cook at 34.7 crores, MRF at 401 crores, Dr. Reddy at 612.8 crores, Yes Bank 566 crores, Glenmark at 577 crores. Now the stocks with the positive bias are Compton Views at 185 crores, Hindustan Unilever at 818 crores, HDI at uh, 76, uh, at CMT 76, beg, uh, I beg my pardon. And uh, stocks with negative bias is Dr. ID 4414, Indusin Bank at 927, Amal Battery at 914. Now stocks for investments are Aditya Bilanu at 2154. Maruti at 4495, HDFC Bank at uh, 41112, Tata Motors DVR at 269, and Z Entertainment at 421. Thank you, friends. Thank you. Happy investing.